He's alive! Now get back to killing! Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. And what I'm bringing you today is uh, a nice way to farm experience uh, solo. So for all those people that are either having trouble finding games or having trouble finding reliable teams or people that they can, you know, play the multiplayer with and get the best amount of points the quickest way, this is a solo strategy that can be done in a in a private game on your own. And all you need to do is uh, have the setup that I've got right now. And what I'm rocking is uh, I have my leash recharged so that I can thump. I have the thump unlocked so I can, you know, do it kind of quick. And I have a, a lot of thumps. So as you can see, the the white bar on the right above my, my leash recharge, it shows I've got about five, five or six thumps. I think that's maximum. I also have the screamer with a ton of secondary fire. And all you have to do is you get to, I think it's wave four, which is the freaks, which is these guys. And all you do is you go underneath here on this level, which is the, the very first level when you, you enter the the private matchmaking mode. I think it's called Turbine. And all you do is you fire the Screamer up into the roof and then you thump them. And as you can see, if you can get all six guys there, you can set off all six of them on fire. You will get a massive amount of points in a very short amount of time. And all you literally do is you just repeat this little formula. It takes absolutely no gun skill whatsoever. You just need to lure them around here, kite them, well I suppose it's kiting, it's a little bit like the zombie mode and just get as many dudes as you can and once you've done that fire the screamer's secondary function into the roof to set them all on fire and then just thump them uh, one word of warning, you don't always get as much as you think you would every time because for whatever reason some, some don't get set on fire some don't give you the, the firefighter bonus shot and, and various other reasons like just then I got a voodoo doll on somebody before I got to bounce them but if you do it this way you can generally average about 10,000 skill uh, 10,000 points per wave and all you have to do is uh, kill everybody here and when the last guy comes uh, let him kill you and then you can restart this wave from scratch and just keep doing this for as long as you can put up with it basically and you will get to level 65 extremely quickly obviously there are better ways to do this probably if you can get another guy and you can find out a formula but this is uh, the easiest, the, the the least skill needed to, to farm experience on your own. Uh, one thing I will say is never ever upgrade how much damage you can take because if you do that the, the last guy will have uh, trouble killing you basically. He can't take you down as quickly as it's needed and you might not be able to to keep replaying the level but it's dead simple and it's it's not too boring if you can put like a, a television series on in the background or, or a film or, or listen to your iPod or whatever or some podcasts and it's just a case of doing a hell of a lot of circling, a hell of a lot of screaming, and then bouncing them into the roof. And I've got about 13, nearly 14,000 points doing this. I think that's my best that I've managed. Uh, the other strategies I've heard of is uh, lining a ton of them up and using the shish kebab with the, the penetrator. And that is probably a, a really quick way of getting a ton of points, but you have to be really accurate when you do it. And then right now, I should be just killing these guys if I want to get on with it, but I wanted to try and get an x-ray kill if I could because because I'm putting it up on YouTube I wanted it to have a, a nice fancy ending and it completely fails but it's it's very simple it's very easy to do and once this guy goes down make sure you don't kill the, the dude that turns up or it'll fuck up the run so all you do is you wait for this guy to show up and then you let him beat you up it then asks you to restart the wave and you do it all over again so a nice quick tip to get a really quick experience on bullet storm in a private match on your own so once again guys, I hope you enjoy my videos, I hope you enjoy my channel, uh, I'll speak to you soon, and you take care now.